Yeah, it is oddly under the radar, but the development of the European Union is extremely important to watch right now. Okay. Right. So one thing that the European Union did, which if you know your American history is uh, is a danger thing, is because it, it is a dangerous thing. Sorry, is that it became a debt union right a couple of years ago. So now we co-sign for the debt, which basically, if if I were a published politician, I would say. That means that a Dane have to work one year longer for an Italian to work one year one year fewer, right? Mm -hmm. Which is not a popular statement to tell in Denmark, right? So there's a lot of back and forth right now with the role of the European Union in all European countries. So should it be more like a union? Should it be more federal? So on? Should it split up, right? And I think in the next 12 months, I would watch that very carefully because some European countries have more in common than others. At the same time, the idea of not working together in a European Union seems absurd right now in 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 the world as it. Of course, we have to work together. Okay, and and anything else? Like, will you say, okay, so this this is like something when when I look at it, and this would happen, I yeah. change my mind, and we are going full on bifurcation still. Yes. Yes. So um, we had a uh, we had a very interesting case in Denmark again, and I think it relates a little bit to also what the French are doing with the pensions and so on. So the day, this government, the centrist government, one of the first act was that they took away a national holiday. Imagine how unpopular that is, right? Right. And, and I think they did it to show that they could. I think it was an attempt to show power and saying, you know what, if people will outmaneuver us in this or will oppose us too much, like for instance, if the if if the oppos opposition manages to call a referendum, you know, then we have to back down and then we have to, you know, leave the project behind because, you know, if we don't have power, then what's the point? So I think I think you should we should watch very carefully country by country governments launching an unpopular reform and seeing whether they get away with it or not. Uh, mm. And if they get away with it, that sounds like it's a criminal thing. That doesn't, that's not what I'm meaning, obviously, right? But like, if, if they manage it, if they manage to do something fundamentally unpopular, like at the level of taking away a national holiday, right? that, that's, a, that's a fundamentally or unpopular the pension thing. reform or like yeah, exactly. these kind of like, the big things. <laughs> that's the big things, right? But if they're smart, they'll do a smaller thing first, but something that's still very unpopular. If they manage that, I would trust that government to at least have regulatory efficiency. Um, and that would make me trust more in that society. Then, of course, then my worry comes up. What are they going to use that regulatory efficiency for? But that's like a step two worry. So that's what I would look very carefully on. Like, what's the unpopular thing being launched now and how, how they're going to handle it?